Off the top at six, the Paw Paw community came together today to honor a volunteer firefighter killed in the line of duty. Lieutenant Ethan Quellen died after a power line fell on him on Wednesday during the ice storm. News 8's Demetria Sanders is live in Paw Paw with how Quellen is being remembered. Well, today, a police and fire escort bringing Lieutenant Quellen from Kalamazoo to Adams Funeral Home here in Paw Paw. Hundreds coming out to pay tribute to the fallen firefighter who lost his life doing what he loved, serving others. A local hero brought home to be laid to rest. There are people who are serving, giving up quite a bit what uh, other people take for granted. Uh, to do things that other people are not willing to do. Hundreds of people lining Red Arrow Highway in Paw Paw to show gratitude towards Marine and Paw Paw firefighter Lieutenant Ethan Quellen. We're so fortunate to have um, the departments and, and the, the young men that we have. And I know today I wasn't the only one standing there with a tear in my eye, you know, when the procession went by. Quellen died during Wednesday's ice storm when a power line fell on him in Almina Township. As American flags waved and first responders and community members paid their respects, some say it's a stark reminder of the danger those in service make. I don't think a lot of people think about it. They just think a bunch of, you know, guys riding fire trucks with sirens running. You know, it's exciting, you know. And then something like this happens and the reality comes back to you. Community members also remembering that Quellen was serving as a volunteer at the time of his death. Not getting money. I mean, how often times uh, is somebody going to do that for you? You know, a lot of times we, we focus things around what I can get out of this um, instead of, uh, you know, what can I give? Hartwell says seeing the outpouring of support during the procession says a lot about what people of service mean to the area. And I saw people in fire trucks and things from uh, Kalamazoo even, you know, and um, state police. And um, yeah, I just think it shows a lot of respect for the, uh, for the agencies that protect us. Now, tonight we are expecting an announcement on funeral arrangements. A GoFundMe has been set up that will support Quellen's wife as well as his daughter. You can find that on woodtv.com. So far, that GoFundMe has raised over $100,000. In, in Paw Paw, Demetria Sanders, News 8. Thank you, Demetrius.